All right, in this video, this is problem number 27 on the free ATIT's math practice test that you can find over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 27, yes, this is a challenging problem and probably you will not see this on the T's test because it involves systems of equations. You can solve a system of equations using substitution, elimination, you can graph. I'm going to show you the elimination method here. Kumar can buy three burgers and two medium fries for 10 bucks from a fast food restaurant. Harold can buy two burgers and three medium fries for $8.75 from the same restaurant. How much will one burger and one medium fry cost? So we have two unknowns here. I'm going to let B, the variable B, represent the cost of a hamburger and F is going to be the cost of a medium fry. Looking back at this first sentence, three burgers. So if we take three times the cost of a hamburger, B is the cost of a hamburger. So three times the cost of a hamburger will be the total cost for three hamburgers, but he's also getting two medium fries. So plus two F, two orders of medium fries times F, the cost of a medium fry. This total is $10 according to that first sentence that we have here about Kumar. Now let's look at Harold. He can buy two burgers, so two hamburgers times the price of a hamburger, plus three orders of medium fries times the price of a medium fry is equal to $8.75. I got that from the second sentence. Now what we have here is what's called a system of equations. A system of equations can be two or more equations with two or more unknowns. In this case, we have two unknowns. We need to find B and F. To do this, I'm going to get rid of the B's. I'm going to eliminate the B's to help me solve for F first. It does not matter which variable you get rid of, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this top equation, I'm gonna multiply everything in this top equation by a negative two. Why did I pick negative two? You'll see right here in a second. I'm gonna multiply everything in this bottom equation by three. So where are these numbers coming from? Well, before I explain that, let's just go ahead and multiply everything up here by negative two. So negative two times three B is negative six B. Negative two times two F is negative four F. And negative two times 10, yes, multiply the other side as well. That's gonna be negative 20. Repeat this process down here for the second equation. Multiply everything by three. We have positive six B plus nine F is equal to 26, 25. And what I did to get these numbers, three times two B is the six B, three times three F is the nine F, and three times 8.75 is 26.25. If we look at these equations now, notice negative six B, and this is a positive, this is understood to be plus, negative six B plus six B, they cancel out. The B's get eliminated. So what I did here is I looked at this three B and this two B, and I said to myself, hey, I can make these numbers become six. You could have made them become 12. You could have made them become 18. I just picked six because that's the first number that three and two both go into. However, I want one of those numbers to be a negative and I want the other one to be a positive. That way they will get eliminated. Now there are multiple ways to solve a system of equations. I encourage you to Google system of equations, type in the word elimination as well, You'll see tons of resources available for that if you're interested in learning more. But anyway, here, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting rid of my Bs. Now let's combine the Fs. Negative 4F plus 9F is 5F. And combining the negative 20 and the 26.25, that's negative 20 plus 26.25, we have 6.25. We can solve for F by dividing both sides by 5. And if we take 6.25 divided by five, we get 1.25. Therefore, F, the cost of a medium fry is $1.25. Since we know the cost of a medium fry now, if we go back and look at the first sentence, for example, three burgers and two medium fries for 10 bucks, that's this equation here, three burgers, plus two medium fries. Well, I'm gonna take, instead of two times F, I'm gonna do two times 1.25 because we said the cost of a medium fry is $1.25. This is gonna be equal to $10 from that first sentence up here. So think about this, three burgers plus two medium fries. If one medium fry costs $1.25, two medium fries will cost $2.50. This is equal to 10 bucks. So those two medium fries cost $2.50. 
We can subtract that $2.50 from both sides. We are now solving for B, the price of a hamburger. 3B is equal to $10 minus $2.50 is $7.50. Divide that by three to get B by itself. We have B is equal to 2.50. So the cost of a hamburger is $2.50. Now we can check our work. I encourage you to do this. If you take three hamburgers times the cost of a hamburger, well, three times $2.50 is $7.50 plus two times $1.25 because that's two medium fries. Two medium fries at $1.25 each, that's going to be $2.50. $7.50 plus $2.50 is 10 bucks. Good. Now let's make sure it works for this one down here two burgers okay a burger is two dollars and fifty cents two burgers two times 250 that's five bucks and then we have three medium fries a medium fries a dollar and 25 cents so three medium fries at a dollar and 25 cents each that's going to be three dollars and 75 cents five dollars for the burgers three dollars and 75 cents for the fries that does total 875 so we do have the correct two numbers here now to answer our question, how much will one burger and one medium fry cost? We add these two numbers together since that's the cost of one burger and that's the cost of one fry. And our answer is going to be $3.75. $2.50 for one burger, $1.25 for one fry. Adding those together, that's how I'm getting to $3.75. And there you have it, a challenging problem, systems of equations. Again, check that out on Google. Type in systems of equations by elimination or systems of equations by substitution. There are many ways to solve this. This is just one way. Even though, like I said, you probably will not see this on the T's test, I guarantee you, you probably will run into it somewhere in a math class in the future. Especially if you are going to be attending a university or are attending a university, you're probably going to have to take college algebra and you will run across this. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.